What's up guys, this is RG giving another high definition broadcast as you can see we're here on using late and let's go ahead and get started with this NYX tutorial guys. Um, honestly, the events I haven't been really casting them lately because they are really, really easy for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's because we're all higher level 105 or people have been spawning more or people have been getting better even, but they're just really easy. Um, so. Especially for somebody that's a uh, high level like me, it's pretty simple to um, get a group going uh, that's a pug or a pickup group. Um, so that's what they say when people are saying pug, uh, it's pickup group. So you pick up a group that's a public group or public group, pub. Somebody say pub, somebody say, some of them say pug. So we go here. And we're gonna go ahead and do the soldier one. So this is gonna be a rare uh, play while I'm casting one. Let's see, yes, we have a healer. However, the healer is only very low level. 39,000 HP on that healer. I would suspect she's somewhere around the 85 to 90 range. Um, so she might die, but she does have uh, Heaven's Breath, which is nice. So that's a good thing one thing I actually uh, actually equipped is heaven's breath I don't know why I have that on right now um, honestly for this you probably would want to take a balance and a uh, purify if you're going DPS so hmm, maybe I should redo this one but um, we'll see how this goes honestly it's so pre it's pretty easy it's almost so easy that you don't need to strategize for it too much there's also two healers here, so um, another thing that I kind of wanted to talk about is the increased number of healers in um, in games. Honestly, it's oh shit, he retired. He retired. Okay. So there you go, a retire off the bat. That was not great, and um, there was two healers, so that is unfortunate um, oh I didn't really see how much what actually level that healer was before um, but you guys can check and I think it was pretty low so gear sets event why do I have okay cool so let's equip this yes uh, probably equip like Colosseum or something gear let's go back into abilities um, mass refresh I'll take that off and we're gonna go for cleric. Um, one thing that you can do is instead of going for purifying light right here, you can actually be a little bit more selfish and take a sacred hand. Uh, it really is like a trade-off. This one is um, lower cooldown, higher cost. This one is higher, uh, a lot higher cooldown, less cost and it gives you um, all allies remove status buff so one thing kind of sucks about a sacred hand is if you're stuck in the top uh, co uh, corner or the bottom corner it is only going to hit two people so it only gives you 70 heal on your adjacent allies it's not like something uh, like a targeted heal where you can heal the rest you know three in any area which it kind of i honestly think it should be as um, you know they can change it back when they're, they're you're able to change positions with characters in PVE matches. But for right now, it's just useless uh, for it's well, I guess it's not really useless, but it's less effective for people that are in the bottom corners. I am going to be a little bit selfish right now because usually when you draw a two healer, um, you know pub match, you'll the next match will be like full of nothing but DPS. So I'm just going to keep this. It's good for uh, going with nothing but DPS and also keep the balance because uh, Nyx does use balance or does need balance. Another uh, reason why uh, Sacred Hand is good for the Paladins is because you're going to be taking a lot of the main brunt of the attacks and if anybody has a single target or uh, even a multi-target attack that uh, debuffs your defenses then the next attack that's going to be a single target attack that's just a regular attack it's going to hit you with a lot more force than it was previously and this one actually does take off debuffs right because it's just it's like a purifying light but a mini one so let's do that 
Uh, I'll go this again. We're gonna go Minlet Paragon and start it up. Okay. Uh, looks like yes, we got a healer. That's nice. And I am in a position where I can I can take these guys and heal them uh, nice and fine. go looks like oh wow that guy is pretty low right here 35 uh, K looks, looks like what his damage is it's 14 K on damage that is more like it uh, 17 K 15 K 24 K and I'm doing 33 K as an unbuffed paladin um, why I say unbuffed paladin is because when you get put buffs set as a paladin you're benefiting from both attack and defense, so when I get buffed, my my damage is gonna skyrocket higher than somebody that was just gonna get buffed from what attack stat, you know? Because uh, my attack stats are both attack and defense. So pretty much, yeah, you guys get it. Um, yeah, it looks like we're gonna be able to do this. It doesn't look too too crazy. Hit him before the shelter. Actually, my, the shelter got taken off by the. Lancer here, and then usually what you want to do in these situations. Oh, oh my God, uh, this is what I have. <sighs> Just have a little back look at that. All right, so there we go. Just telling the things. Oh, I missed the I missed the unison. It's okay because the um, haste went up. So this happens a lot. People will talk to me in game all the time, and sometimes I miss unisons and stuff like that. So it happens. It's all good. But um, I did have a haste, a haste, so that would have been terrible if the only one haste had been popped. But since two haste were popped, not too bad. Cause I'll just do this, and then I'll we'll all get four buffed, and it'll be fine. So. See what this is. Another Valkyrie. So I don't know. Um, I mean, honestly, uh, he they can go uh, Valks. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say you guys go Valks. I'll go Haste. So it's gonna be easy uh, to be able to get a three Haste up and two Valk. So that is nice. All right. The thing uh, with having, say, two Valks of the same color is sometimes if they are popped early, the haste are popped early and you, not, you don't get three up, then you risk the um, tragedy of having a Genesis with two haste and two of the other same color Valk. Um, that's just one thing. If the other guy that had the uh, light Valk wanted to switch with me out of Valk and he haste, that would be one solution. Um, also, having two different types of Valks, say a blue and light, the blue one is going to be able to take off status, whereas the light one is just healing, and then since you already have another light one, it's already healing. Could be useful if you need a healer, like say if this guy, his healer wasn't here, could be useful, because the heal from the light Valk is actually much stronger than the heal from the uh, blue Valk, which is percentage based. So, that is that in terms of Valks and popping them and pasting and popping it. So I'm just going to wait for Yang to get his unison up and then I will be able to pop that haste that we all just been I would actually search attack this greater weapon first honestly. I feel like he does more static status effects that are annoying like he'll do the confuse like a lot more than this girl does paralyze for some reason just for me. So I'll, I'll just be popping haste here, and then we'll do two light valves. Should be. Or not. Or, I don't think, maybe this guy didn't have his uh, up yet. Um, but I'm not positive. Let's see what he's got. Yep, 89. So that's why he didn't pop his double light valve. And the blue valve would have been coming a little bit handy here as I'm paralyzed, but it might be coming off soon. Yeah, it's already off. He didn't even have to kill me. So that's fine. Omen is one of those annoying ones. Oh, he got it off on us. So Omen is the one that uh, lowers our status effects. And the previous, um, or the one that's actually here still, 
um, the event that gives you the orbs for the Nyx stuff. It actually uh, gives you an omen that's negative 10, so this one's not too bad, it's negative 3. So 30% less um, resistance to status effects. That's what that does. So fear, if we had a 10 stack, everybody would be confused instead of just three people. Um, Amateretsu and uh, Light Valk. See, this is why um, Blue Valk is really good because it's going to give you the buffs and take off your status. Honestly, we probably didn't need Amateretsu for this specific stage. Excuse me. But um, we did actually need some more buffs. That's cool. Uh, because we do have the three stack of uh, haste here that's gonna boost our unison by a large amount. So we could probably just haste here. One, two, three. So that's good. Uh, the reason I'm using the reindeer, if you guys think, oh, well, he's such a noob. Well, the, it's because I'm using two high cost uh, monsters and then just using the haste to to basically um, be able to match another haste. So honestly, having like a Jabberwock is cool if it, it's gonna boost your stats. But honestly, it's it's just gonna boost your stat sticks, like a stats, a stat stick, a stat booster. It's not gonna do too much effectiveness on the actual unison. Something like the neutral choo choo that buffs and heals is like one of the best you can get, as well as. Alright, so Twilight Blade is going to go for me. That's a single target attack. I'm going to just be calling it out. That's a poison attack and it debuffs you. So Twilight Blade again. Endless Knight, that's the one that's giving you, uh, yeah, Paralyze and all that. Midnight Cloak, that's the buff. So that's when you want to balance that off. Twilight Blade is going to keep on hitting me. Endless Knight, that's the, the, that's the break slash thing, death, death, ooh. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself here. Ooh, gosh. Oh my god. Alright, so I almost died there. That was pretty crazy. Uh, I probably should have healed a little bit sooner than that, but that's fine. The reason I didn't heal, like, really quickly is because she does this attack, it's like, I don't know what, what it's called, some kind of apocalypse or something. It'll, it'll show you, it, it's gonna give you like a high damage. But we were doing so much damage to her so quickly, I felt like we were going to be able to just burst her down. And hopefully he's gonna area recover me. Okay, cool. Bizzle calling, so this is the one. This is where I heal up right here. And then, oh, another one. So I definitely wanna pop that very quick before she does any kind of gimmicky super fast attack on me um, so yeah that's good the, uh, the blue belt right there took off all of the debuffs and pretty much what's gonna happen here is the light belts are gonna go ahead and shoot her down so usually she won't do two fatal attacks if your damage is high enough like she'll just do the one abyssal calling and then after that she'll just die um, like I, like I said, it's pretty easy to get a pug or a pub uh, group, so not too hard. I did get gold this time, and I haven't expected um, a lot of drops from events lately. I don't know if they like decrease the drop rate for events, but I've been experiencing pretty bad drop rates on events uh, as far as the... I haven't gotten the succubus even yet, and uh, I only have got like two orbs or something, so honestly I haven't been going super hard on it. And yeah, this guy's 85 and 91, so as you can see at 94, it's not too crazy hard to get, um, what do you call, uh, it's not too crazy hard to get a group for this. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, definitely give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys can. I would really appreciate it a lot. Uh, thank you guys all for watching as always, and take it easy. Peace.